about climate change, a group of climate scientists has admitted that estimates of global warming many years ago were wrong. In many ways, yes. This is back to the old models. You know, you estimate what's going to happen through time. And in this case, the total weight of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And there hasn't been the sort of warming they expect. Some people have called it a hiatus. And Oxford people with, uh, again, Exeter people and UCL, University College London, have just published in Geoscience, Nature Geoscience, a paper saying that what we've got is possibly more time than we expected. You know, it was suggested by P IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel, uh, that we had only three years. And of course, three years is no time. Uh, without naming the governments, I think most people would agree that uh, governments couldn't necessarily organise a trip to the lavatory in three years, let alone save the world. And it looks as if, as the Economist put it this week in a brilliant article, if you want to see the summary of what this hiatus means, this, this now uh, what they call a breathing space, it's wonderfully summarised there, suggesting we might have a reasonable amount of time uh, maybe 10, maybe 20 years, during which we would keep the temperature under 1.5 rather than going over the 2 degrees, mm. which would be catastrophic. That's great news, but should pressure be taken off those governments? Uh, I, I think it's more a case of saying, and as the headline said in The Economist, no room for complacency, but you do have room to move to get on with it, and making pa Paris a realistic goal. Well, on the Science Show, Saturday at noon on RN. Robin. That's right. Thank you, Rose.